So it's time for another fish room tour. Uh, before we do that though, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know about a couple deals going on right now. Free shipping until Sunday, September 4th on all Southern Delight fish food. Um, minimum order $39.99. Also, if you're into shrimp, 20% um, off um, until same day, um, Sunday, August 4th, or excuse me, Sunday, September 4th on any glass garden shrimp product that we carry in the, in the aquatic support system store. So. Um, those of you that watch these uh, fish room tour videos, you're probably more interested in the Southern Delight fish food. We've never done free shipping before, so take uh, advantage of this special. Um, again, free shipping on all Southern Delight fish food until Sunday, August 4th. Take advantage of it, AquaticSupportSystems.com. All right, let's get started with the tour. All right, well, welcome back, and uh, let's start over here with the Feste tank this, uh, this time. Um, these guys are doing well. Um, the female is about ready to lay eggs i believe she's getting real fat down in her tummy and uh, the way she's been coloring up lately um, it looks like it's about time uh, the male's doing real good and then the silver dollars in here um, are doing good as well um, haven't been able to um, capture any fry from the small couple spawns that, that these guys have uh, produced um, when they do um, breed it's a small clutch and i've only seen it i think it's made it to wiggler they've made it to wigglers twice and then had eggs a couple other times that never hatched or, or got eaten that type of thing so i'm gonna keep my eye on this uh this pair and hopefully soon they will um produce the prior owner said that they were regularly spawning for him so we'll see what happens down below is uh, one of the Trimac pairs. The male has gone through a mega growth spurt um, since, uh, well, probably since the last video I shot. They haven't, um, they haven't bred. They seem to be coexisting pretty well together. Um, they were having some problems, uh, but they seem to have worked it out. But we'll see. A lot of times the aggression starts when it's uh, when it comes to be spawning time. I was having my doubts on this guy as far as his colors, but they're improving quite a bit as he's grown. They're not as nice as the other one that I have, uh, which I'll show you later in the video. But at any rate, um, I'm enjoying this pair and uh, we'll just continue to see what happens. These are Amphilophus trimaculatus, Trimac cichlid, and uh, real nice fish. All right, over here is the Hadiensis pair. I get asked constantly if I've got fry or even if this pair is available for sale. The pair is not for sale. I don't anticipate ever selling them. I've got some fry that are getting pretty close. You can see there's some right here, but I've got a bunch pulled in another tank that uh, are a little bit bigger. And uh, I'll talk about those in a little bit, but these guys are looking real well. <clears throat> really enjoy the way this male's pattern and coloration is. Um, just a real, real awesome fish. Pretty happy to have this, uh, this pair and uh, continuing to uh, keep uh, keep them and raise them and watch them spawn when they do and that type of thing. Let's get a little bit of uh, zoom action on them here. All right, up here we've got the uh, Redis latest tank and I've had a I've had a lot of requests lately from people wanting me to sell this pair. They're, they're just not for sale. Um, this is a long-term commitment type fish. Most of my fish are. I don't raise many of mine up just to sell them. Um, I raise them to keep as pets and, and to breed, and I'll sell fry when, I, when I'm able to breed them. But uh, this pair just doesn't seem to breed. Maybe once a year, there's a little Sebuldi. The female, she's back in her tube here today. I'm gonna throw some food in there and um, see and uh, see if we can get her out. I haven't fed the fish yet today, so 
A lot of people ask too. Oh, here she comes already, just from the top opening and that type of thing. Um, a lot of people ask always what I feed. I feed Southern Delight fish food to all my fish. Fish is, uh, it, they just love it, and uh, it's a food that I um, sell, obviously, um, and I sell it because I like it. I've used it for years before I started selling it, so um, it's just a great food. This is the Power Feed formula, and uh, we're just gonna give those guys a little bit. She seems to be um, in a hiding mode, so he must be picking on her recently here, but here she comes too to eat some food. Uh, so over here is the uh, wild-caught Umbi Paracronoharos umbariferus. This is Magnus, and this is the female beast. They're doing the same as always. Um, not much new to update. Um, you know, he's a he's a real nice fish. He's coming on, I think, seven years old, I figured, um, when I was kind of looking through some records recently. He still likes to play around with you, as you can see. He's getting up there in his old age. Likes to pick on beasts, as you can also see. I don't know, he's probably four to five inches thick. Somewhere over 20 inches long. Probably, uh, nine to ten maybe more inches from top to bottom he's just a beast so is she but yeah i don't have much else to say about them up here is the uh, arowana slash rtm slash midas slash clown loach tank arowana that's a silver arowana, about 24 inches. That is a uh, real Blanco Paracromus Motaguens. This is from uh, Sean Hyden, who produces the best motas around by far. And this is a uh, Midas, an Amphilophus citronellus from a pair that I'll show you later in this video. And then, of course, the clown loaches. Uh, down below is uh, my uh, other Umbi pair. This is the son of Magnus and Beast. This is uh, Optimus. He's an F1, real mag Umbi. And then his female Matrix is, where is she right now? No, oh, she's hiding down here in this tube. They're doing real well. See if I can get her out by uh, putting some food in the tank as well here. Feed these guys Southern Delight. I feed all my fish Southern Delight. Power feed and large cichlid are what I feed the bigger ones. They've been acting kind of weird lately. Um, I don't know if she'll come out for food right now. He's been picking on her a little bit. Hasn't done any damage or anything like that, but, um, I guess he's going to be grumpy and not eat. Here she comes, she's backing out. He's, uh, I don't know, probably 15 inches, 17 inches, she's a foot. Just to kind of give you a little bit of an idea, it's always kind of hard to tell on video. The other Trimac pair. As you can see, his color is quite a bit nicer than the other one. Um, he's he's ready to eat, so he's not gonna give you much of a side shot, probably. Oh, there he goes. 
kind of see it's coming. I'm gonna put in some more Southern Delight power feed and watch these guys go. Female should come out. She, ooh, haven't been down here yet today. Looks like they've been squabbling pretty good. She's a little bit beat up, which is not good. I'll back up for a little bit and see if she'll come out. He does this to her quite often. He beats her up and then they heal or she heals and, uh, and then they do it all over again. They'll spawn in the middle and then blah, blah, blah. If any of you guys keep um, cichlids like this, South and Centrals, you know that that's common. There's aggression between males and females and uh, it's just something that's part of it and you gotta figure out ways to uh, places for them to hide like I've created here. Some people use dividers. I do that from time to time too, depending on the situation, but she's got um, areas that she can go that he can't get into, as you can see. And she's pretty scared right now because she, uh, she'll she usually come out and eat, but um, I can tell you that she's, just by looking at her, she's taking a little bit of a beating. And it wasn't like that yesterday, so it must have been overnight or late last night or this morning. Unfortunate, but that's how it goes. Um, there's a Midas grow out in this tank. These are the Hadiensis fry. They're about half inch. Tons of people have been contacting me wanting to know if I got them for sale. I, I, I suppose I could sell them at this point, but I'd prefer to wait till they get a little bit bigger. Just uh, I think it's better for shipping. But if you're looking to purchase some at this size, about a half inch, you know, um, email me and uh, we'll work something out. Um, it's brian at aquaticsupportsystems.com or else you can go to aquaticsupportsystems.com and go to the contact section and it can be emailed there. What I've been feeding these guys on this go around, I usually make gel food out of Southern Delight. But this time I decided I'm just going to stick with these Sarah Onib tabs. And if you haven't seen these, they're real cool. People use them more for tropical fish because they stick to the glass. Um, and they're good kind of grazers. But um, I just I just drop one in and watch these guys just go crazy for them. As you can see kind of going out of focus there, but they really enjoy that food and they've been growing well on it. Um, another Midas grow out here and here. Just put those in there because I don't have any fry and I wanted to keep the tanks cycled. Um, what we got below here is the, uh, the Midas grow outs that I'm keeping for myself. These guys have all now started turning yellowish orange. A lot of them have black on them. Um, I mainly feed these guys um, Southern Delight small cichlid, but I also do mix in some fluval bug bites, or no, not fluval bug bites. I've, well, I've fed those too, but the North Fin Bug Pro. Um, just stuck some in. You can watch these guys go nuts for the Southern Delight small cichlid. So I'm looking forward to growing these guys out and I'm just gonna grow some Midas for myself and kinda see what happens. Um, here's the Bug Pro, if you're not familiar with it by Northfin. It's a cool little, they call it a crisp, but it's basically a pellet. Um, kinda what it looks like. Put a little bit in this tank here. Watch him go for it. This tank too. But anyway, enough with that. Um, we'll cruise on over here. Um, flower horn doing well. This is a Confa 9.9. Um, a lot of people with flower horns lately have been contacting me about which Southern Delight food, and I always tell them large cichlid or growth. Um, that's large cichlid that I just put in there, and he loves it. His colors are great. Um, just a good food all around. Um, 
the Midas pair down here. This is Cheeto's brother, if you're familiar with Cheeto. If you're new to this channel, these are Amphilophus citronellus, um, AKA the Midas cichlid. I feed these guys the Southern Delight large cichlid food as well. As you can see, they love it. These guys are also doing real well. No spawning, but just fun wet pets to have, and they get along great. Uh, no problems as far as aggression towards each other that I've really seen lately. And then over here is my other flower horn. This is a red magma, and uh, he's been doing pretty good lately too. Um, no problems with him. He's just kind of chilling right now. Back by the sponge. I turn the heaters off down here this winter, this summer, because it just really heats up my house. And uh, this guy, I've noticed a difference when his tank isn't as hot. He seems to be a little bit more slow and sluggish and not as active, but um, you know everything's cool with him. Uh, down below, still got this Moda. This is Gino Suki. This is. Uh, one from Sean Hyden that I've had for a couple years now. Just kind of letting him live out his life at this point. Um, sorry about the water stained glass, but he's uh, he's quite aggressive too when you try to stick your hand in there or when you uh, clean the tank. He, he, he really goes after the filters. Um, he's a good fish though. Um, we'll go upstairs and kind of finish things off here. Show you Cheeto and the female Midas. <clears throat> so here they are. They um, they spawned again recently, um, but the eggs never hatched. They ate the eggs. Just kind of seems to be the situation with them for whatever reason. Sorry about the glare from that planet tank in the background, but. Um, Still a real fun fish. Really enjoy having these guys. Not a whole lot new to report on him or her, but uh, just doing their thing. And then over here, we've got this 90 gallon planet tank. I guess I'll include this in the tour. It's a, mainly a shrimp tank. There's some, um, Cardinal Tetra's in there as well. You may have seen a recent video where the carpet on this had come undone. That's a whole nother story, but I've got that temporarily taken care of for now and we'll go from there. All right, so that's gonna end the tour. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you're new to this channel, uh, make sure that you uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you like watching videos like this. I try to do regular updates on all the cichlid tanks and I also keep freshwater shrimp and I keep two reef aquariums. So I try to do updates on those as well. Um, if you're interested in that type of thing as well, um, leave me a comment below. Let me know which fish you like best in this video. If you've got any questions or comments and um, again, Southern Delight fish food through Sunday, August, I keep saying August, through Sunday, September 4th, free shipping which is something we don't typically offer. That takes a lot off your orders. So um, if you're looking for some fish food to feed your cichlids, you know, we've got a range from the small cichlid like I showed you all the way up to the large cichlid and everything in between. There's 11 different types of Southern Delight fish food. If you've never tried it, this might be a good time to give it a try. If you're a person that's used it for a long time and need to stock up, free shipping, you can't beat that. So aquaticsupportsystems.com, check it out. Until next time, thanks for watching.